December 17th, 2020. This is a rebroadcast on C-SPAN of the December 16th, 2020 uh, election, the Senate review of the voting issues for the 2020 election. <clears throat> this is a call to action, and I'm going to just ask anybody who worked the polls anywhere, anyone who was involved with the provisional ballots, would you please give feedback? Um, were, were you rushed to convert provisional ballots to valid ballots without you know doing any other referencing? Um, did you experience that? What state were you from? If you were in one of the states where the votes were not counted until after the election, were you put in a position where there were all these piles of provisional ballots and somebody just told you, just convert these to regular ballots and let them through? If that happened, would you please, or if that didn't happen, either way, would you please contact uh, Senator Johnson? He's actually, he wants the feedback. Listen to what he says. He wants you to, to tell him what happened. Um, I, I do want to make a comment. We, we spoke to, and we we're very uh, appreciative of the fact that the Dominion Systems, uh, uh, Edison Research, AP, a, a number of people we spoke to prior to this hearing. Now, they didn't, they didn't all participate, uh, but we, we will leave the record open, and I encourage everybody we spoke to and people that we didn't, if you want to input information into this record, you've got a couple weeks to do it, and I encourage it, and our staff will look at that, and we will vet it, we'll call you, we'll ask questions. This, is, this, is, this hearing is not dangerous. <laughs> what would be dangerous... If Okay, so what would be dangerous is not. So there it is. Uh, if you if you have the time, I mean, if you, if you work the polls, and you were rushed into doing something without knowing what you were doing, um, you know, whatever. If you just saw a short anything, if you if everything worked perfectly, call in too. But if in retrospect you realize, you know, things kept happening, and I was told to do one job, but. There were things happening around me that didn't make sense. Um, or just anything. Just that if you were involved in the, in the vote handling, uh, if you were involved in voter registration and you even felt that didn't go fairly, like that there was manipulation there, whatever you're, anyone who's involved in the whole voting process, give your feedback. Um, don't be afraid either way. Um, there could be, like I said, you could have 99% totally perfect and valid um, uh, performance. And if you're one of those, great. If you're one of the 1% where things around you were going on that you knew were either rushed or sneaky or being done and you knew it was not being done the way it was supposed to be done, let, the, let them know. This is what we need to do to go forward and that create a better understanding of what we can do to make the next election better. This is not discussing this openly and frankly with transparency. This yeah, that last point is very important. <laughs> what would be dangerous is not discussing this openly and frankly with transparency. This is a problem that we have to acknowledge and recognize and solve together. And we're only going to do that with information. So I'm soliciting information. Okay, this, this is only part of the process. There, there was oversight before this hearing. There needs to be oversight after this in the next Congress. You know, hopefully I can work with uh, Senator Carper, who I, I think we all recognize has done a pretty good job of outreach here and, and uh, some pretty bipartisan words here. So I, I'm hoping that's how we can move forward. Uh, because I truly think as Americans we share the same goal. We all want a safe prosperous, secure, country, state, you miss, you know, community. That, that, that's what we want. We want to be able to raise our children in safety and freedom. And the way it works in this country is through participation in the democratic process. So I think everybody in this panel wants to make sure that we have good participation. We encourage citizens to participate. We also want every legitimate vote to count. But we should be every bit 
in favor of making sure that every vote is legitimate. And that's what this is all about. If we can put the controls in place and actually act on them, you know, it's great having paper ballots, but you have to have access to, to look at it to give yourself confidence in the current election and moving forward that, okay, this, this all worked out. You know, Wisconsin's recount, totally honest. Our count was almost 100% accurate. Well, again, now he's just politicizing because if you convert a provisional ballot to regular ballot, it's no longer a provisional ballot. It's now valid, even if the provisional ballot was... The purpose of a provisional ballot is somebody either was not registered or they voted before Election Day, but they're not confident that their vote got counted. So they showed up on Election Day and they voted again. And they even told the person, hey, I'm voting again. So they make it a provisional ballot. And then they're supposed to wait till all the other votes are counted and then count those by cross-checking the ballot to make sure that the name on that ballot didn't already vote. And that, I think, was not done this time. That was like one of the, one of the biggest concerns was the conversion of provisional ballots into, into uh, ballots that just counted and could no longer be traced. So if you know anything about that, please give them feedback. If you, if you work at a, a precinct or a polling station or a vote counting location where they literally took the time to check every signature, report that. If you found there was a high rate where you could not verify the signature, report that. Whatever it was, whatever your experience was, this is your chance to contribute something. Thank you.